Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to uh, the next installment of uh, webinars from MNL Advantage, your membership services program. I'm Brad Power, Director of Programs for Municipalities Newfoundland and Labrador. Thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. We know it's uh, certainly a new, uh, new way of operating these days with the uh, current COVID pandemic. So uh, we want to help you, uh, help your communities. And of course, today's topic is um, uh, COVID-19 purchasing and various other opportunities that uh, m and has available to you. I'm joined today by Tim Elms. Uh, Tim is our Client Relations Manager for purchasing through the m and program. He's there in a the little video up in the corner. And of course, Tim will jump in in a couple of minutes. Uh, he'll certainly introduce himself in more detail. Uh, before we begin, a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, the webinar will be approximately 30 minutes. We'll try to keep you on schedule today. There will be a Q&A session held after the presentation. You can submit your questions in the chat function within Zoom, or you can email bpower at municipalnl.ca or text 709-763-4686. Uh, the Zoom app has all kinds of features, folks, so feel free to play around with the various uh, uh, settings and, and view settings. Uh, you can see our presentation on part of the screen with the video on the other part, or you can just look at the presentation, or you can just look at this wonderful video of me, whatever you choose this morning. The presentation and the video and all the information we're going to be uh, speaking about this morning will be made available online, uh, hopefully within the next 24 hours. I did email everyone uh, that's on the line here uh, earlier with an opt-in form for the m &L Advantage program, so that's in your email. We also have a webinar satisfaction survey that we ask that you fill out uh, after this session, and that is also linked in that email that I had sent you. So thank you for joining us. Without any further delay, we'll uh, get our presentation up and running. So, as I mentioned, it'll be myself and Tim presenting here today. We're gonna to be talking about COVID-19 purchasing. The presentation will include uh, a quick overview of the uh, partnership that we have with the Rural Municipalities of Alberta. Then we'll jump in very quickly to the topic of the day, personal protective equipment. Then I'm gonna jump in and talk about the opportunities for remote meeting participation and other things through TELUS Business. We'll talk about Telelink and the services they're offering our members. Uh, we'll talk about global payments, which is credit cards. And then we'll talk about eScribe remote meeting software. So before, uh, before I get into my piece, I'm gonna hand things over to Tim and uh, Tim will talk through the RMA partnership. Tim, over to you. Thanks, Brad. So as Brad mentioned, uh, I am the client relations manager for MNL, working with the projects, uh, the, the different, different programs that we have that are presented to us from the rural municipalities of Alberta. Um, before I get started in what is for, what we have available for the PPE side of things, wanted to touch base on what the rural municipalities of Alberta, why they're spearheading uh, our programs throughout Canada. They've partnered with all the associations, all the rural municipalities and associations throughout Canada because they are at the forefront of cooperative purchasing. So what is cooperative procurement? It's the process of aggregating purchases for a large group of customers with similar buying needs. So securing better prices and services due to the increased volume. And so currently for purchases on um, threshold amount of under $10,000 for, for goods and services and sorry, 50K for services for, for municipalities in Newfoundland and Labrador. So what this means is all the tendering has been processed on your behalf so it's all compliant the rfp process has been approved tendering processes and it's been completed it satisfies all cfta and other trade legislative court requirements for all its members and they partnered with all the associations as mentioned before from bc all the way over to newfoundland um, it's a like-minded municipality associations across the country and it's securing the best value by leveraging over 5,000 members throughout Canada. And so it's really giving you the best opportunity to save you time, save you money, and also offers you procurement flexibility. So, and the reason why Alberta has been at the forefront of this is because um, they've been facilitating the public sector cooperative procurement since 1936. So they have those vendor relationships that are gonna be most beneficial for you. <clears throat> move this slide over here there we go so uh, i've touched on this point here the leveraging of different um let's get back here a second here brad are you move, can you move for that move the program back just one step for some reason it's not working on my end here okay so as mentioned 
get back on track here. Uh, so they, the leveraging group, uh, they, they offer the buying and pricing across Canada and it's transparent and consistent pricing. So it's all again, trade compliant. As Brad mentioned at the onset, he had sent over what we call is the opt-in form. So for all the, in order to participate in the programs, we first need to know where the items are going to be sent. So in order to make sure that you're taking part in the MNL programs, our opt-in forms are pretty straightforward. Um, you fill in your full name for the Bill 2 section, you add in the date, position, and phone, and then uh, as you can see, you can have the ship in, ship to on your screen right now. But you also can choose the different programs that are available in Atlantic to Canada. So, um, right down here that the culverts programs you can choose all the programs that we have available right now right now we've got the staples business advantage which we're going to touch on because it offers the ppe availability for our members the granger program as well as um, the importance of, of the michelin programs and our tire programs because of the the, the we want to make sure that all of our members are getting the resources that are needed during this crazy time that we're all working through so if you look at if you look at the opt-in form right now, you can actually see the build it, build to, ship to, and then at the bottom there's the square boxes here. These programs will be launched throughout the year in the municipality of Newfoundland and Labrador, and some of them are already here. So we've got the um, fleet manage, fleet management that will be launching later. We have the fuel program, the ground engagement, the Acklands Granger program, office supplies that would be our staples program, and then uh, our tire program and the traffic supplies. You fill in your position, you fill in the title and the date, and then you send it back to uh, my email, which will be provided at the end of this call. And uh, then we set you up with an account. Why that's so important is because during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that we're all experiencing right now, the personal protective equipment has been top of the line, top, top of mind for all members. We've all seen the demand for essential services and the products far outweigh the availability of all the supplies that the manufacturers and their capacities can actually can can uh, adhere to so we, we really want to make sure that all our members are getting the ppe equipment that's needed and the good news is that all mnl members and all association members are actually being deemed essential services by our vendors so that means Granger Canada has set up an emergency response team to evaluate incoming orders and to help assist you with all your orders and your supplies that are needed during this time. That means anything from uh, hand sanitizers or um, so some of the other list of safety, safety equipment would be confined space equipment, disposable resistant clothing, face protection, uh, gloves and hand protection. So that's really important for you because the the orders can actually be sent factory direct, so on large scale items and orders, and that can get right from the factory right through to you as one of the members. Obviously, you're deemed an association, uh, sorry, an essential association through the MNL Advantage Program, uh, privy to the health care workers getting their equipment first. I'll move on to the Staples Advantage as well. You've been deemed essential services, all members within the association who are partaking in the, pro the, the programs that we have available are deemed um, essential services as well. And again, the, some of the programs that, they, that includes uh, the pr protective furniture, um, equipment that they have available, there's room dividers uh, in order to protect your staff, there's beds and chairs, freestanding protective screens, emergency pop-up spaces, whiteboards, consultation booths, those sort of items are deemed essential services. So what that means is, is if it's not available online or if it's not available to the public, it will be available to you. Um, and I believe, Brad, you wanted to touch on the Hazmasters and Rock Spirits? Absolutely, thanks, Tim. Um, so folks, we've, uh, we also have uh, a number of, uh, of other opportunities um, outside of our MNL Advantage program. And, and many of these uh, are specific to uh, local suppliers that are addressing some of the emergency needs that are out there. 
Uh, so we've uh, MNL has been working on your behalf with the uh, provincial government related to the COVID response. And one of the uh, issues we've raised is the, the need for some volunteer fire departments and uh, community ambulance operators, as well as some municipal offices that require immediate personal protective equipment in order to carry out their duties. So the uh, Office of the Fire Commissioner and the Public Procurement Agency have been working very closely with us and vice versa, we've been working very closely with them. And they've uh, indicated that if there is an emergency need for personal protective equipment for our volunteer fire departments or community ambulance operators to reach out to them. So the uh, contact number for the Fire Commissioner's Office is 709-729-1608. Or you can have your fire chief or town manager, CAO or clerk contact their local fire protection officer. Uh, we're also working with the Public Procurement Agency on uh, greater purchasing opportunities, such as uh, group, uh, the cooperative buying that we discussed today, and trying to avail of some factory direct opportunities. So uh, we'll, work, we'll continue to work very closely with uh, the Chief Procurement Officer, Heather Tizard, and her team to, uh, to try to advance that stuff in the coming days. We all need to recognize that uh, while there are some immediate needs right now, many of us are thinking about the next month or two months for when we, we continue, we open up our council offices and hopefully our facilities, and uh, we need to be uh, careful to uh, prevent the second wave of COVID-19. So uh, things such as um, hand sanitizers on walls and uh, safety equipment that will be available within buildings and masks for frontline staff and things like that. So um, Hazmasters and uh, Rock Spirits, which is Newfoundland Labrador um, Liquor Corp, uh, both of them have emergency supplies available right now as well. Uh, Hazmasters in particular has KN95 and FFP2 respirators. They also have face shields, surgical masks, gloves, and hand sanitizers. Uh, in our follow-up email to today, we will actually provide the contact information for the uh, individuals um, who, uh, who you can contact at Hazmasters. And of course, the material that you're purchasing from these can be utilized for any municipal staff, any person within your organization. Obviously, they, they're not worried about exactly who it's going to, they're most worried about that it's a municipality that's making the purchase who get, get priority on the purchasing process. Rock Spirits, a Newfoundland Labrador uh, Liquor Corporation, you probably heard about this recently that they're now creating hand sanitizer uh, for the province. So they will have uh, right now a liquid hand sanitizer with 80% ethyl alcohol available. Uh, they're in a, a, a 1,140 milliliter bottles, uh, 12 bottles per case, and the product is sold in cases only. There's no minimum order quantity, uh, but that's uh, $138 per case. And we'll make sure that you get the, uh, the contact information for, that, uh, for that, um, that purchasing opportunity. So I'm gonna jump on to um, the, other, uh, the other purchasing opportunities that we have that will support your response to COVID. Uh, many of you may have heard by now about our partnership with uh, TELUS Business. Uh, our friend Jackie DuPont, who attends our conferences and symposiums all the time, uh, is working very diligently to help you get set up with the various services that you will require to address the, uh, the issues that you're facing. She has a wide range of services available for us, including Business Connect, which is telephone lines that can be utilized remotely. Essentially, it allows for your mobile phone, your computer, your tablet to have the, a telephone line that rings on all of them. And uh, that will allow you to answer calls from your um, your constituents and, uh, and your residents and uh, ensure that you address their needs as you always have when you used to operate in an office. They have opportunities for cloud services so that you can store your files online. Uh, they have access to uh, preferential pricing on Office 365, which is the Microsoft suite of programs like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. They also have an opportunity to create digital forms. So many of our digital app or many of our applications within our municipalities like development applications or uh, requests for renovations or anything like that can be digitized so that the resident does not have to come into your town council office. They can fill it out at home, sign it digitally and send it back to you. And you can, um, you can guarantee that uh, there's confidence that it will be done properly. They, one of the big ones that we're promoting now based on the um, guidance provided by municipal affairs recently is webex which is a remote meeting uh, uh, program it will allow you to hold teleconferences with your council hold your council meetings but also allow you to engage the public and allow your residents to call into a 1-800 number to listen in on your council meetings so webex is uh, it ranges in price they have all kinds of solutions available so i, I encourage you to reach out they also have a couple of other programs that uh, have had great success thus far. They have a work remotely safety program. That's one where um, 
there are reminders and, uh, and notifications about workers out doing various tasks. So as a CAO or a director of public works, you can uh, monitor remotely through a checklist to see if your workers have accomplished certain things throughout the day so that they don't have to come in and talk to you in the office or to drop by your home. They, you can know uh, in real time that the work that you've assigned to them is getting completed. They also have uh, supports for those employees who might be working on their own, uh, keeping in mind the occupational health and safety regulations and all the things that we have to follow um, can be uh, very hard during a pandemic. But uh, in this case, TELUS can help you monitor your employees and actually send out reminders for them to check in on a regular basis so you know they're safe. So that's a great, uh, great one. They have uh, remote facility monitoring. Of course, we're not all out checking our arenas or recreation facilities right now. So they can put in place a solution, whether that's uh, camera monitoring, uh, as, you know, closed circuit television as such, or um, whether it's just a new security system on the doors of the building. They can help you through that piece. And uh, last but not least is asset tracking. So of course you have all kinds of equipment that is now being utilized at people's homes. There are probably vehicles in their driveways uh, so that they can respond quickly if there's a need uh, within the community. So they have a solution for asset tracking to make sure all of those um, products and items and vehicles and equipment uh, can be monitored by your, your town staff. The other partnership we have in place is with uh, Telelink. Uh, those of you that are not familiar with Telelink, they're a 24 seven response center uh, based here in St. John's, uh, locally owned and operated. They have a team of agents that take calls around the clock and follow scripts custom to your municipality's requirements and processes. This uh, can include calls from the public regarding snow clearing, animal control, water and sewage, messages for the office and matters for municipal enforcement officers if you in fact have them. This can be uh, dispatched to the appropriate team and individual by email, text, or call. So this is a situation where we're now not working in our council offices uh, in many cases. They are closed to the public. However, we still need to continue doing business. So many have just simply forwarded their telephone line to their home phone or to their cell phone. However, we recognize that in some cases that may not always work. Um, so in the event that a resident can't get you by the normal means, you can implement an answering service through Telelink and after three or four rings of your telephone line, they will then pick up, take the message and uh, send it to the appropriate person within your organization or to a CAO or town manager for distribution out to other staff. Um, I know a number of municipalities that use this one right now and uh, they've had uh, some great success. It also allows you to have a, an after hours answering service. So again, we all, uh, I'm sure many of us have had the experience where at uh, two o'clock in the morning, there's a water main break and residents are dialing your home telephone, waking everybody up. Telelink can take that call and they can reach out to you on your cell phone or reach out to the appropriate person. So it may help rather than having, you know, three municipal staff woken up uh, throughout the night, such as your mayor and town clerk, when really that had to really go to the director of public works as such, or your public works assistant. So they will help you with that. They will make sure that the right person gets that message after hours. And it is a very, uh, very reasonable, uh, reasonably priced service. Telelink's, uh, Telelink also has one other opportunity that they're offering up to municipalities. And keep in mind, all of these services that we're discussing here today are significantly discounted for municipalities. So you can rest assured that you're getting the best prices that we have available to us here in this province. So the last thing they have is loan worker monitoring. It's a very similar program to what TELUS utilizes. However, this uh, it provides loan worker technology and 24 seven monitoring of all types of municipal loan workers. Um, it includes, as I referenced about TELUS, phone-based uh, phone check-ins. There can be an app put on your employee's smartphone. And uh, there's also what's called the man down service. Uh, so if uh, one of your workers fell or um, was not active for a period of time, it will actually send a notice to your town clerk or town CAO or senior staff member and will notify them that, hey, your public works person has been at this same site for uh, 15 minutes and has not literally moved an inch. You may want to check in to make sure that they're okay. So this becomes even more important today because of the COVID pandemic. Uh, but of course, these are some great services for us to employ, reasonably priced services as well, uh, to employ for the safety of our, uh, our municipal workers and, uh, and staff. Global Payments is, uh, is another partnership we have. Uh, Global Payments is a uh, uh, so an is in alliance with the uh, Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC. They're committed to supporting us uh, with cost-effective solutions to accept credit cards over the phone. So this, uh, this option or opportunity uh, came about when we started receiving calls 
uh, from towns that wanted to collect tax uh, bills, uh, tax payments, but of course had shut their community down due to the pandemic. So some communities were setting up uh, by appointment only, but of course, as the number of cases increased, um, we saw most of that uh, cease and then there's a delay uh, and individuals have been given some extensions to, to pay their taxes beyond the June 30th deadline, which is outlined in their legislation. However, you don't even have to provide that extension if you don't want to, because we have this solution through global payments that will allow you to take credit cards over the phone. In most of those cases, it was the inability to accept the money that was causing them to, uh, to causing grief within some of those communities. So global payments uh, processes, um, $50 billion worth of transactions annually. They are a, uh, a fantastic organization. They uh, deliver broad range of solutions and they will allow you to accept all kinds of payment types. Uh, they offer a countertop terminal uh, and that rents for about $20 a month, but you can then start accepting credit cards over the phone uh, when operations return to normal, you can then start accepting credit cards in your office. You can uh, utilize Interact, TAP, or just the in-person transactions. Cardholders, and I'll tell you this from experience because I'm, you know, all of us are taxpayers. I certainly appreciated the convenience to pay my bill um, by a credit card over the phone. Um, you know, I recognize that our municipalities have cash flow issues like every organization, and I wanted to make sure because I had allocated my budget for my taxes that I wanted to get it in the hand of my community. And uh, very quickly, they were able to take, uh, take the calls over the phone and take the payment. So Global Payments, um, they, uh, they will we'll announce more information about this partnership in the future, but reach out to us if you're interested and we'll connect you with, uh, with their great, uh, great staff. Their rates are as low as 1.1% for transactions. And that is one of the lowest rates in the country. And in fact, uh, it is, uh, I'm, after having done some research on my own, it's likely the lowest rate for credit card transactions that you'll receive here in the province. And that's because again, they've identified municipalities as a key service provider and they wanna make sure that you have access to these things. The last item I'm gonna to touch on is uh, eScribe. Uh, some of you may recall, we held a webinar last week uh, on eScribe. It's a meeting management software that allows you to, um, allows you to manage your council meetings. Um, it has become really the go-to choice for public sector boards and committees and councils looking to really increase their transparency and engagement with their public. Um, a number of communities here in this province utilize eScribe. Uh, I personally, uh, in my previous role at the Eastern Regional Service Board, utilized it for running that board of directors, and I found it extremely helpful. Um, uh, they have uh, a full service where you can operate similar to the way the city of St. John's does, which is uh, you know, creating agendas, creating minutes, and creating reports, and so on. But they also have a light version, which is for smaller communities. Um, and they will uh, ch chat with you if you're interested, and they will provide you a quote. Their eScribe is similar to, um, uh, to other programs that we utilize, uh, especially in the financial sector, where you can choose certain components if you want them. Um, so they will, they will work with you to see what suits the needs of your community. But uh, the most important part is that eScribe, uh, working through the Telus WebEx software, allows you to confidently and safely live broadcast your council meetings on your websites and it will the program itself automatically archives the the various council meetings and it archives your agendas and archives your minutes so it makes it a very very easy process my personal experience i cut the amount of time it took for me to create a board meeting and execute that board meeting uh, by two-thirds i was spending only one third of the amount of time that i was previously when i was doing it all um, by hand. So I'm uh, just going to show a two minute video on eScribe and uh, if you bear with me, uh, we'll, uh, we'll start it up. Meetings are essential to public sector organizations, but can be inefficient when it comes to time and money. Traditional meetings are paper heavy affairs. Printouts of agendas and supporting material quickly turn into mountains on your desk. It can get expensive with toners and in many cases, couriers, not to mention the toll on our environment. Prepping for meetings is time consuming and stressful. Chasing staff for supporting documents can be challenging. Whether it's tracking down submissions or manual approvals, that's time that could have been spent on higher value tasks. Collating packages can also be a pain. 
And when you think you finally have your meeting package ready to go, a last minute change could mean you're back to square one. This is where meeting management can help more than just agendas. It's an end-to-end -end solution that manages all critical functions before, during, and after the meeting. eScribe is an award-winning provider of cloud meeting management and the go-to choice for public sector boards and committees looking to increase efficiency, transparency, and accessibility. eScribe saves hours of prep time per meeting, reduces human errors and escalations, and there's no need to print. Everything is electronic. Participants have secure access to meetings anywhere, from any device. eScribe manages from roll call through adjournment, including conflicts, requests to speak, electronic voting, and video streaming, all in one place. When the meeting is over, eScribe provides historical reports, one-click internet publishing, and an integrated action log. Follow-up has never been easier. With eScribe, users can easily manage mountains of information. It enables timely communication between staff and meeting participants to raise productivity. It's time to evolve your meetings and embrace the benefits of eScribe to improve the efficiency, transparency, and accessibility of your meetings. So eScribe has, uh, has certainly given us um, uh, a great opportunity to really professionalize the way we operate. And uh, it's, a, it's a silver lining to the, the current pandemic that, uh, that these opportunities come up. And the one item in, you'll see on the, this next slide, this is essentially what your council members would see on their tablet or on their computer. Um, and it's a very easy process. You can see who's in attendance. Uh, you can see any documents that need to be shared by your various staff. Uh, and of course, your full agenda and the uh, supporting documentation are available to the left-hand side. So it's a great opportunity, and uh, we would like for you to uh, to jump in there. Um, so um, just uh, so before we finish things up, I recognize that it's about eleven, uh, almost eleven thirty. Um, we have uh, uh, a couple of new webinars coming up in the very near future. So Tim, do you just want to jump in and talk about the uh, the ones that we'll be leading? Yeah, I'll quickly jump in here. Um, so during uh, this time, we're going to be having, as Brad mentioned, a lot more webinars. We'd like to meet in person, but obviously now we can't. Um, the one thing I'll, we're going to be talking about is the uh, MNL tires and fuel programs. The tire program, just one thing on that notice, um, because of the shutdown of uh, Michelin uh, plants throughout North America, we're really highly suggesting that any truck, truck tires, any large scale track tires, or any tires of what, whatever you need, uh, for the year, we're suggesting that you put the orders in pretty soon as we are, um, we're expecting a bit of a shortage come fall. Right now they're available, but we want to make sure that you are again getting, getting the services. So um, the other programs that we have coming up as well, uh, we have the culvert program that we're going to be launching next month, which is great. We have a um, IT program that's coming up. We're going to be having a Staples Advantage a webinar program and then a TELUS Business webinar as well through uh, our website. You can get more information through our website here at municipalnl.ca. And uh, once this is all over, we're looking forward to coming and meeting you in person and seeing you guys, your smiling faces all in person. We're a lot better in person. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Brad? <laughs> absolutely, Tim, absolutely. So folks, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I know that was a lot of information in a very short period of time. Um, so we will be following up after this webinar with some information on our website. You will also receive a newsletter in a day or so that will outline all of the opportunities that we've uh, mentioned here today with all kinds of um, attachments and uh, PDF files and so on. Uh, we want to make sure that you can uh, get the products and services that you need. MNL Advantage uh, is here to help you with that. Uh, myself and Tim work uh, crazy hours. We're more than happy to talk to you at any time. You can certainly contact us by email um, and the email and telephone numbers are listed on the uh, slide in front of you. Um, uh, we will certainly make sure that we address your, uh, your need in a uh, very uh, quick, uh, quick fashion. And uh, we're always there, if you, even just if you have a general question or need some advice on uh, other opportunities that you're not sure where to go, uh, Tim and I are well in the loop with communities right across the country, and we can share with you information that we've, uh, we've garnered. Um, 
I also just want to put in a, a bit of a, a shameless plug for municipalities Newfoundland and Labrador. We've been doing um, a lot of these uh, webinars and uh, we want to make sure that they, uh, they um, respond to your needs. So there is a satisfaction survey that we will uh, send out. It was in the email earlier this morning and it will be on the email following this webinar. So before we conclude, uh, we'll uh, have a look at our chat function to see if there are any questions there that we can help answer. So I do note that um, uh, Nadine mentioned that, um, uh, or sorry, Triffy mentioned, asked about the PPE for maintenance workers. So of course, uh, Triffy, the, the, the per, uh, personal protective equipment that you purchase through our programs and through our partners um, can be utilized for whatever needs you have within your community. Uh, if that's maintenance workers or cleaners or uh, town staff of any kind, if they're public facing or out dealing with, uh, with other people uh, in general, um, they should have the appropriate PPE in place. Um, Nadine McCauley also asked, with regard to accepting credit card payments over the phone without card presence, uh, it has been identified as high risk, which leads to higher costs by our provider. Um, our current provider has very good rates, but is still extremely expensive annually. So um, Nadine, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, accepting credit cards is, there is an expense to that. Um, it, uh, the financial, or sorry, the technological risk is lessened when you utilize companies like Global Payments. Uh, they have uh, security processes and whatnot in place. There, there is always the, um, uh, the potential for, uh, for fraud and uh, things like that with any financial transaction. However, um, you, know, you can rest assured that uh, companies like Global Payments and your, your banks will do everything possible to, uh, to reduce that, that risk and they will certainly work with you. Um, last question from Clifford Reed. Uh, are these webinars available to view after today? Absolutely, Clifford. So we will post, uh, this webinar will stay uh, in an on-demand function for the next uh, couple of days. So if you want to watch it again, you can just click on the registration link uh, that was previously sent out, register yourself and go through it. You can pass that registration link on to uh, any of your colleagues or neighbors that want to watch. And um, we also have uh, uh, we will also then take it from the on-demand function to our website in about a week and the uh, under membership uh, link on our, uh, the MNL website, you can click on MNL Advantage on the left corner and then webinars and you'll see all the webinars listed with the video link, a description, the video link, and then uh, a copy of the presentation as well. And in this case, we'll have a bunch of handouts related to uh, the various suppliers that we're, we're promoting. Um, Brian Peckford mentioned about uh, the contact for Rock Spirits. Uh, so Brian, I will uh, make sure that that gets emailed out to everybody on this uh, webinar now momentarily. So you can have that in your, your hand and we'll also send out the, uh, the Hazmaster stuff as well with the masks and the other things. So if, uh, are there any other questions from our attendees? I'm just keeping an eye to my text and email and chat function. I don't see any come in. So um, I'd like to uh, thank Tim for uh, joining us this morning. Uh, some great information there. We are uh, working very hard on the, uh, the purchasing program through uh, rural municipalities of Alberta. <laughs> some great national pricing opportunities there and uh, we're very excited. We're glad to have Tim. Uh, Tim serves a number of uh, organizations like ours across the Atlantic region and has really hit the ground running. Uh, he's been in touch with many of you already and he's always available. So one last final plug, please fill out our webinar satisfaction survey. Um, I suspect uh, the, uh, the one comment we'll receive back on this is that when it comes to purchasing, we could sit here for four or five hours and talk together. But uh, unfortunately, we're limited today. But we will, as Tim mentioned, uh, have many other webinars coming up in the, the near future. And uh, feel free to make suggestions if, if you'd like to see something uh, delivered by MNL Advantage. Uh, by all means, email me at bpower at municipalnl.ca. So thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, some great attendance. We've got uh, about 26 people on the line. So thanks, and uh, we will talk to you all soon. Uh, be safe, wash your hands, and, uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy your day. Take care. Take care.